Hi everyone, Jordan Dreyer, the savvy millennial voice actress who's enduring and lovingly patient. Today is three weeks and one day of the Omer. We've made it so far. Only four weeks left to go. If you want to know more about the Omer and how it works, check out the links in the description. This week is all about Netzach, which is endurance and determination. This is one of the hardest things in our instant gratification society, having to wait for something or having to continue to train or work hard at something before you see any results. On the sephirot tree put over the body image, Nesach is one of the legs. Without endurance, you cannot stand. Your endeavor will fall apart. As usual, we start with the chesed component, so the loving kindness in endurance. If you love what you're doing, you're more likely to keep doing it, right? If you love your family, your job, your car, you're more likely to commit to them to keep them all healthy. But the other side of this is, through your endurance with a thing, like work or cooperating on a long-term art project with others, are you showing love? Are you patient and caring with the others and not demanding and seemingly inflexible? Would you stop at nothing to achieve your goals? This is central to my journey to become a full-time voiceover talent. I could be more relentless and be marketing and searching for auditions every second outside of my rent-paying job, but I've chosen to be compassionate and loving to myself. Instead, allowing time to play video games, socialize, sleep in, and even get massages. I'm not making progress at a rapid pace as a result but I am going at a pace that keeps me in love with voiceover. If I was forcing myself to be at the computer and practicing all the time, I would start to hate it, as I did when I was practicing music too much in college. As an English to foreign speakers teacher, I've learned to celebrate small wins. Most of my students want to improve their accent, and that's a long road of listening and awareness. So when I hear them finally saying a vowel sound they'd had trouble with now consistently in the new American way, I feel glad, but I never get mad at them for relapsing. Today's exercise is to reevaluate whether something you're working on or fighting for is being accomplished in a loving manner to yourself or your coworkers. Maybe that means asking everyone on the team how they're doing and what they'd like to see done. Maybe that's asking yourself if you're putting other people hurtfully down as you fight for your cause. That's a whole other topic, but as you fight for your human rights, at least don't be killing anyone else. Good luck, and please lovingly like and share this video. See you tomorrow.